What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, one person I do have respect for that a lot of Black people may not have respect for is Candace Owens. A lot of people out there of our culture, Black people, they don't like Candace Owens because she tells the truth. She calls out what she sees and she doesn't hold her tongue. Sort of like your boy MABW. I don't feel like I have to bite my tongue or not say what needs to be said to the black audience. And if they don't like it, so what? I don't care. But the truth of the matter is, sometimes people like me, Candace Owens, and several other people in our space that try to talk to black people, it's more because we're trying to help out our own people. And we're worried about our own race and the degrading things that they do. So we're going to call it out because, of course, if a white person calls it out, y'all will automatically assume that they're racist. And y'all would wonder why are they worried? Y'all would wonder why they're even worried about black culture. So I always feel that black people need to call out some of this degrading stuff that women do, that men do. It doesn't matter. Call it out. Let them know that it will not be tolerated. It's not needed in society. It's not needed in our culture, period. People need to stop acting up and making fools of themselves. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to let y'all listen to what Candace Owens has to say. I think this was a great video. So let's get into it. So congrats on your movie. Um, Thank I know you. it takes a lot of effort to put stuff like that out there. Um, let me see. So uh, I know you've spoken on like toxic black culture and all that stuff. Um, besides public speaking, um, what are you doing to combat against toxic black culture? And then how does your movie Availant BLM add to what you're doing? Do you see how it can add to it? Um, do you see how it can hinder the movement? I don't know. Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. I'm so glad you asked it, obviously, because it just lets me brag about myself. Um, so the thing that the media never tells about anybody and it's so infuriating that they ever say about me is that it's just like, Candace is just critiquing black America and then they just strip away everything that I do for black America. I run a charity, it's called blexit.com. It's a successful charity and we are in 39, actually now 41 states. You can go on to blexit.com and you can see what we are doing in these inner cities. We have after school programs in which we pick up these children that are in disadvantaged, uh, uh, dis disadvantaged districts and we bring them so that they can learn different ideas and so that their parents don't have to worry about them being on the streets. Aside from after school programs, we run uh, summer camps for these children so that they have somewhere to go so that their parents don't have to worry about them being on the streets. Aside from just complaining about BLM and all the destruction that it brought to inner cities, we raised over $100,000 and gave it. We picked black businesses that had been destroyed in the George Floyd riots and we gave it to them. Now I'm telling you all- and for y'all, for those of y'all that don't know, she what she's talking about is kind of her movie that she put out about the rise and pretty much the fall of BLM and how they pretty much bamboozled the black culture and they use, they pretty much monetize all the black people's deaths, but they never did anything for black people in general. So there will be people like George, Fo George Floyd that died and a whole host of other black people that have been taken down or killed by gun, uh, by police, gun violence, whatever. She'll talk about it. And black people will actually be mad at her for talking about BLM. Like they really did something for any of those families. I don't know if y'all know this, but BLM hasn't done anything for the families that have uh, uh, for the victims, families that have passed away or died. Nothing. They've done nothing for them. They've monetized off black people's death. They use black people's death to get rich. And people have donated millions of dollars to this Marxist organization. And some people to this day still support BLM, even though, even though they know that BLM pretty much robbed everybody that was black. In my eyes, if you ask me, they use it, they use the money to fund their lavish lifestyles, take trips, buy big mansions, support their own family. Hire their family as private uh, security. They, they did all types of stuff. They did all types of stuff with the money that was coming in. And they use our sadness, us black people, to build up their monetary 
gains. That's all BLM did. Nobody can state one thing BLM did for the families, uh, for the victim of the families that have died. Nothing. They've done nothing but show their face as soon as somebody dies. After that, they disappear. All this stuff because the media never will. They need to paint me as a monster and a person that hates my own race because I have higher expectations because we should have higher expectations. And there's been this routine lowering of the bar. In terms of the documentary, my purpose in producing that film was that I never thought that there was a more toxic narrative for black America than the George Floyd story and the lies surrounding it. Um, and I wanted to do that film in a compassionate way because after speaking to his roommates, I felt sad. This was a man that was struggling with drug addiction. Drug addiction is something that probably every single person in this room can relate to I somebody in your family, a cousin, a brother. Um, this is something that touches Americans. And the George Floyd story should have been a story that brought Americans together. And it's not his fault that after he died, horrible people used a media narrative to divide, divide Americans, to burn down black inner city communities, and to... And she is so correct on that. Soon as something like that happens, black people were, will burn down their own community. They will burn down their own community, and then they'll cry about stores leaving their community, or certain stores not wanting to come into their community. They start crying about it, but you're burning your own community down. You're looting and robbing your own community every single day. Why would any store want to be in a community that's going to rob, steal, and kill if somebody gets um, injured, harmed, anything racist happen anything happens in America that somebody feels is racist, especially black people, they're going to burn down their own community when that's not the way to go about it. If you want to really ask me, and I'm just being straight blunt, if y'all want to really fight somebody, go fight the police. If y'all so tough, Go fight the police. Go fight them. Don't tear down and burn down your own. Uh, now I'm not. I'm not advocating for that. But if that, if y'all so bad, won't y'all go do that? Won't y'all go at the government affiliates? Do 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 something. If you want to do something real, go do something real. But no, you want to burn down your own community over a crackhead. I'm just keeping it a buck. Do raise BLM into the multi-million dollar uh, organization that stole, that essentially stole from Americans. Um, and so I wanted to expose all of that because I think that once you expose a lie that big, it helps people be less emotional and to really understand, which was, I think, the thesis of my film, which is that the media is our enemy. Let's stop the damn video right there. And she's not lying. The media... If, 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 if the media has the media has control of the people, they run narratives. And sometimes our own people are too blind to see that they're too blind to see that they going to they, they're going to show you what they want to show you. That's why me personally, I watch alternative type stuff. I don't pay attention to the news because they're paid liars. They're pretty much paid liars. Matter of fact. That's the best job to have if you want to really ask me, especially as a weather person. They can sit up here and tell you it's going to be 70 degrees tomorrow and it'll be 40 degrees. Off the subject, though, they're paid liars if you want to ask me. That's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all think that people go at Candace too hard because she points out the obvious within our culture? Because I do the same thing and I'm not biting my tongue because... I want our people to straighten up and be better. That's what I want for our people. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.